Welcome back to the Strength Training for Fat Loss series. As always, please subscribe if you haven't already, as we've got a lot of important techniques to cover that will have you lifting with confidence whilst getting into the best shape of your life. Today, we will go through our first exercise, and it's the most important one, the squat. For more in-depth information regarding the importance of the squat, please see the video that I'll link below. That said, here's what we'll cover today. Bench slash box squats, body weight squats, goblet squats, high bar and low bar barbell squats, box slash bench squats. Using a box or bench will be great in building awareness of your squat depth. This is great for you beginners as it will help you to build comfort and confidence in the squat movement pattern. By the way, if you're finding this video useful, please do give it a quick like. Stand with knees locked and hips thrusted. Keep your chest extended. Break at the hips, allowing the pelvis to tilt forward. Simultaneously, drive the knees out. Slowly descend until your hamstrings touch the box. Ascend by keeping the chest extended and the knees out, returning to your original stance. Bodyweight squats. Once you've grown comfortable with box squats, it's time to take the box away and progress to bodyweight squats. Adopt your stance and stand with knees locked and hips thrusted. Hold hands at the chest. Keep your chest extended. Break at the hips, allowing the pelvis to tilt forward. Simultaneously, drive the knees out. Slowly descend until your elbows touch the inside of your thighs. Ascend by keeping the chest extended and the knees out, returning to your original stance. Goblet squats. Your bodyweight squats will start to become easy very quickly, so it's time to begin to add some external load. You can use a dumbbell or kettlebell. The same cues apply. Adopt your stance with knees locked and hips thrusted. Hold hands at the chest. Keep your chest extended. Break at the hips, allowing the pelvis to tilt forward. Simultaneously, drive the knees out. Slowly descend until your elbows touch the inside of your thighs. Ascend by keeping the chest extended and knees out, returning to your original stance. Goblet squats will only get you so far. Due to holding a weight, it will be a case that your shoulders will fatigue prior to your glutes. So we need to find a way to add even more load so that we can ensure that it's the glutes, quads, adductors and hamstrings that are suitably challenged throughout this movement. This is much more technical and as with all barbell moves, you should really focus on the setup to help you to execute the lift as effectively and proficiently as possible. There are two barbell squats we will go through, the low bar and high bar. These refer to the position of the bar in the traps. Here's how to perform the barbell squats. Grab the bar with your arms locked. Descend by pushing your hips back until your eyes are at bar level. Step into and pull traps tightly into the bar into high bar or low bar position. Move feet under the bar into a position where you feel the most pressure on your feet. Extend the chest and pull the bar into the traps more tightly, holding a W position from the YTW. Lock out hips and stand firmly. Perform your walk out. Brace again. Break at hips and drive knees out. Descend keeping tension through the body while still bracing. Get hips to parallel. Ascend by imagine someone pulling you up by the scruff of your neck, keeping you extended. Breathe out. Brace and repeat. So there you have it guys, you now know all the key components needed to perform all squats safely and effectively. Please do like this video, comment any feedback and I'll see you in the next one.